Amplify. Hi, Amplify. <laughs> it's Bree and Makoa. Yeah, we're doing your game today. Yeah. <laughs> we are doing, you know, that game that you have to, you can't hear anybody and they have to say something and you have to guess what they're saying. We're doing that one. Pat and Rachel did it a little while ago and it was super funny. So we're going to do it and it's not going to be that funny as Rachel and Pat's, but we're going to try our very best. So, McCole is going to go first and I'm going to put in my trusty AirPods. On Air AirPod Pro sound cancellation to confirm. Sound cancellation. Sound cancellation. So. And I'm going to play... Noise yeah. cancellation, not sound cancellation. A song. Are you ready? No. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait, are you going? Is it I'm starting? Go, yeah. Okay. Lifted Yoda. Oh, you're bad at this. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Move your lips more. Lifted Yoda trucks. <laughs> Lifted Yoda Lift trucks. More. Lifted Yoda trucks. Lifted Yoda trucks. La video machine. Blockbuster video machine. What? <laughs> Lifted Yoda trucks. Is there a time limit? Lifted Yoda trucks. I'm not. I'm just talking to myself. Lifted Yoda trucks. Lifted Yoda trucks. Lifted Yoda trucks. Lifted Yoda trucks. <laughs> Oh my god. I literally don't know what you're saying. Alright. Is there, is there a time limit? I can't give up. What is it? <laughs> Lifted Yoda truck. Is there a time limit? Was I, was I yelling at you? I feel like I was yelling at you. I cannot hear anything. You're, you're always yelling at me. <laughs> I'm crying. You're always crying. <laughs> oh. Jawaiian music. What? Jawaiian music. Jawaiian. Jawaiian. <laughs> Jawaiian. Music. Music. Jawaiian. Music. music. Yes. Put on the chamfer now. <laughs> Eddie would go bumper sticker. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Musical chair. Eddie would. Okay. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Bidgigle. <laughs> Bidgigle. <laughs> Eddie would. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Eddie. Paper chain. Oh, that was so close. That was close. No. Oh. <laughs> Eddie would go bumper sticker. <laughs> Eddie would go bumper sticker. Do it one more time. Eddie. K. Would. <laughs> Come on. K. Go. K go. Go. Bumper. Papa Colea. Sticker. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're making me cry. What was it? What? <laughs> Don't look. Eddie would go bumper sticker. Oh my god! Yeah. That was so bad. <laughs> uh. I said Eddie, and then you said K, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Kanak attack. <laughs> Kanak. Kakak. <laughs> Kanak. Attack. Kanak attack? I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. <laughs> it looks like you said kakak. Kakak. Socks and slippers. Salty person. Oh, that was close. Socks and slippers. Person? Is it person? No. Socks and slippers. Socks? Soggy. Socks? Sauce. Socks? Socks. Sauce. You literally okay, keep saying okay. sauce over a gamer. And. Tiger. And. Anti. Socks. And. <laughs> and. Ant. <laughs> slippers. That person. <laughs> slippers. Slipper. Leprosy. <laughs> uh, socks and slippers. Socks and slippers. Something and leprosy. Socks. Socks. Socks and salty slippers. and sweet. Socks <laughs> and slippers. Socks. Socks. Sog. Socks. Sog. Socks. <laughs> Socks. 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 And. Socks and slippers. Brada is 
CD. Brada, brada, is. Brada is. Butter. Brada. Butter. Brada. 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 Is. 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 Brada. Is. 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 Brothers. Brothers. Oh my God. Brada is. Brada is. Brada is. Brothers. No. Brada is. Brothers. <laughs> Brothers. Brada. 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 Is. Brada. Is. Brothers. Is. Brada. Is. Brada is. Brada is. Brada is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna hit me? No, I'm not. It's not done! Huh? It's not done! Oh, okay. CD. Sick. Brother is sick. <laughs> Brother is... CD. Brother is sick. C... <laughs> C... D. C... D. <laughs> Hold on. Back off, because I just... I need space to see your lips. C D. Brother is Brother is C D. Brother is Chi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. That's not what it is. C D. C D. I can't move my lips anymore. Brother is Chi Chi. That's <laughs> all I got. <laughs> Okay, not free. You gotta get it. On a hole. Hello. On a hole. Ha Malo. On a hole. Hello. On a hole. Aloha. On a hole. On a hole. Why Manalo? No. What? On a hole. Stop smiling and say the word good. Hana ho. Ana ho. Hey, that's close. Ana ho. Ala. Hana. Hana ho. Ooh, wow, so loud. Sorry. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> okay. Vintage. Feet six. Aloha. Aloha, feet six. <laughs> feet. Shirt. Chop. <laughs> Vintage Fizzy Aloha Fizzy Aloha drinks Shirt T-shirt Church Fizzy Aloha Church Vintage Fizzy H Vintage C-H Vin Vintage Vindish Vindish Aloha Aloha shirt. shirts. Vindish Aloha <laughs> shirts. Vindish. Vintage. 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 Tinge. Vintage. Vintage. Vin <laughs> Vin Aloha shirt. I get Aloha shirt. Okay, then say it all together then. Vindish Aloha shirt. <laughs> say, keep saying it until it makes sense. <laughs> Win this Aloha shirt. <laughs> Win this Aloha shirt. Vintage. Vintage. A dish? No. Vintage. Dish. No. Vintage. Vintage. Oh, you're making me confused. <laughs> Vintage. Aloha shirt. Something dish. <laughs> Something dish aloha shirts. 
<laughs> you give up? Win this Aloha shirt. I still okay. think that's it. <laughs> okay. That's the that's the one. You give up? Win this. I quit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what is it? Vintage. Hmm. Uh huh. You obviously see who the winner was. Me. It was uh, me. Win this. <laughs> win this Aloha shirt. That's what it should have been. Winners. So uh, now. Not even. Okay. We're outroing now. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening next in the service, but you'll enjoy it. See you next time. Bye. Win this Aloha shirt. Hey, well, thanks, Bri and McCool, for the game. You guys did a great job. I don't know about you guys watching at home or on your phones or in a car or on a bus, but uh, we were laughing and um, what a great time. Well, again, my name is Patrick Machado. I'm here to deliver the word, and i just like to say welcome to those out there in the interwebs, and uh, hope you enjoy this church at home and online. Uh, we're gonna jump right in, so if you can grab your Bibles and start turning to Isaiah 65, 17 through 18. Isaiah 65, 17 through 18 and in the word it says for behold i create new heavens and a new earth and the former things will not be remembered or come to mind but be glad and rejoice forever in what i create for behold i create jerusalem for rejoicing and her people for gladness let's pray dear lord thank you so much for today thank you that you continue to be an amazing god thank you for um, creating new things and creating um, goodness and gladness and joyfulness and and that you've called us to be those that are willing to step out to be like you and to speak love and joy and peace and hope into this world and so may we do that God from this day moving forward be just people willing to be like their God and um, willing to create life um, within others by the way we speak so um, we love you, Lord. Pray this in your name. Amen. Awesome. Well, a couple things about me is that one, I'm colorblind. All right. Not that I see everything in black and white, but for some reason in my mind, I can't really put together what colors I'm seeing sometimes. And another thing about me is I, I used to, because there used to be school, pick up my kids um, four times a week and um, like good dads do. Another thing is sadly but to me and to others um i'm sarcastic all right and for some people that isn't great how many sarcastic people out there right um, we can be funny but also hurt people uh, another thing is that i help my kids with math and one week uh, chloe was having a hard time figuring out um how to do these certain math problems and and so one dinner uh, I made up some math questions where all of the answers would basically end up ending with a zero. So it'd either be zero or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You get the idea, right? And so um, she got stuck on this question of 91 plus nine, 91 plus nine. And she couldn't figure it out. She was like, uh, is it 99? And I was like, nope. Uh, is it 109? Like, no. Is it 101, 102, 103? I was like, nope, nope, nope. And she was like, I was like, come on, Chloe. Like, how can you not get this? And her response was like, oh yeah, dad? Well, what color is this cup? And I was like, ooh, you darn kid, right? And everyone's laughing and it's because, you know, she was like me. You know, Rachel was saying, that's your daughter, all right because not only um, was it funny, it was sarcastic, right? Like she understood that me not being able to see color was the same thing as her not getting this answer. And though 
I may be colorblind and though I may be sarcastic, our God isn't really, our God is a blessing. And God is saying through the prophet, prophet Isaiah, um, we are to be um, those that are created to be glad and rejoice and that we should be glad and rejoice in what he has created and that God has spoken life in, into existence and, and God is still speaking life into existence. And so he's saying for you and I right now that he is moving and he's doing new things. And for today and in our day right now, um, would we be those that will be glad and rejoice? All right. So God is with us. And so the question is, how are we going to help others to be glad and joyful? How in our communities and in our homes where truly we only have control over ourselves, right? We only have control over ourselves. So how in our homes right now, or if you're able to walk outside, how are we going to bless those around us? And so in point one, it's going to be, be the blessing of speaking life into all things. Like our God, be the blessing of speaking life into all things. First Peter 3, 8 through 10, it says, To sum up, all of you be harmonious, sympathetic, brotherly, kind-hearted, and humbled, in spirit not returning evil for evil or an insult for insult but giving a blessing instead for you were called for the very purpose that you might inherit a blessing for the one who desires life to love and to see good days must keep his tongue from evil his lips from speaking deceit see now peter the apostle is like us he is a good person, but not a perfect person, right? It was awesome that he got to walk on water with Jesus and live with Jesus. But at the same time, he said dumb things and to the point that Jesus even called them Satan. Now he knows, right? And he knows that we're not perfect, you know, just like how he wasn't perfect. But at the same time, he understood the, the purpose of speaking life and, and being a blessing and, and the purpose that when we speak death, it does not speak love. And we are to be those like Christ that speaks life and love. And Peter is referencing Psalm 34 when it says, Who is the man who desires life and loves lengths of days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. I love this because, you know, God is saying through the psalmist David, speak life. Through the apostle Peter, speak life. God would like to tell us today, like he told David, and then he did spoke again through Peter, that this day is for us to be those that speak a blessing of life into all things. Because God is a person who is creating and speaking life into those that he knows. That he is one that continues to give life and and uh, love on the people that is his people and so we as people should be like him being ones that show love and speak life into the people who are our people it reminds me of rachel's grandma and she lived a long time like uh i'm pretty sure it was long after her 80s and as long as i knew her um she went through a lot of sicknesses and injuries of course, because she was an old person. But for some reason, she still lived for a long time. And I truly be believe it's because she was someone who was able to bless all those around her with her words. She spoke life into people. If you went to my in-law's house, you would simply walk in the door and she would be there sitting and she would bless you and pray for you on the spot. And the moment you were leaving that house, she'd pray for you on the spot. And when she woke up, she would go downstairs and she would read her Bible. And when I would pass by her room and she was sleeping, her Bible would be right there next to her. It, it just it just wouldn't be something that would be forced out. It would be something that just would come out of her because she was so connected with God that she felt like she needed to love and bless those around her. That the love of God just came out. And, and when she did pass away... Uh, not everything that people could say is is that she spoke life into me 
that she uplifted the people around her, that she was a blessing, that when you got around her, it was just this blessing that came out of her. And I love that it still speaks true to today, that it wasn't something that was called to the people just in the Old Testament, or it wasn't just called to the people in the medieval times, or the people in the 20s or the 50s. But for you and I today, living right now here, this is the same thing, that you too are being called to be a blessing, to speak life into everything around you. So point two is going to be, you are called to influence those around you. You are called to influence those around you. We're not just going to be those that just speak life randomly and we're just going to just blah, spread like crazy. Like we don't know who. No, we're going to start with and we're called to be influencers to those around us because God has placed those people in our life. And as as those people are in front of us, let us love on them. Peter also says in 3, nine as we read before, not returning evil for evil or insult for insult, but giving a blessing instead for you were called for the very purpose that you might inherit a blessing. There is a blessing God has for you, but you must answer the call of speaking life. There's a blessing for your life, but you got to rise to the occasion. And it may be hard, but it has to start now. You might be able to start later, or you, you could later on in your life, but why not start now? Why not right now begin to get that in you and become a practice where later on in life, it just, like Rachel's grandma, it just doesn't have to be forced. It's just something that was a part of her. This could be something that's just a part of you, that you just speak life into people. Can I tell you one last story about mistakes I've made in my past, which in turn, helped me shape and shaped me to be a better um, dad and husband. And um, it, it allowed me to be just someone who would able to speak life into my kids. And I learned this mistake from my siblings that um, when I was younger, I was definitely not a great big brother. I just wasn't. Um, it's not like I went around beating up my sisters. It wasn't like I was horrible to them, but I did not speak life when around them. I didn't just go and speak life into them. And I want you to catch this because I didn't have um, someone telling me that. I didn't have someone telling me that, right? I didn't, I, you know, and, and it's not like their lives are horrible and, and I, I feel like I'm responsible for all their decisions, but I didn't bless them with life's, um, with words of life. I didn't encourage them. And at the same time, I didn't have a pastor who was telling me these secrets like I am telling you today that I didn't have someone saying, hey, you know, uh, you should be loving on your sisters and, and, and maybe you should be praying for them or speaking life into them. And I didn't have that. But at the same time, I know I didn't say the nicest things sometimes. And Again, I was sarcastic back then too, and I was able to put them down. And maybe my life didn't example life giving, and I was very angry. And I can see, um, you know, my sister now struggling with anger. And I, I would be able to cut down people with my words. And maybe my one of my sisters was one of those people, and now she struggles with just men in her life. Period, to the point where sometimes I think was my words so effective that she has a hard time accepting men in her life then I'm not sure but I do know my words affected them in some way to the point where I knew I had to change that if I was going to be a dad or if I was going to be a husband that I would need to be one that recognizes the people around me and how I influence them with my words that I bring love and joy and peace and hope by the way I speak to those, that the life of Jesus is in me. And so I then speak in a way that that is true. So in closing, for I believe that Jesus is a life giver, that, um, that he is the one that is blessing us, that his words 
whether in the Bible or through prayer, is speaking life over every single person that believes in him. So as followers of Christ, we are called to speak life and love into our community, that we are to be the blessing of Christ to the people around us. And why not start today, again, right now, where you are with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, uncle, auntie, and sister and brother and dog and cat and those running by your house, like your community of people. Why not start now speaking life into them to answer the call? Not that you might receive a blessing, but that you would then be a blessing. And in hope, God has already said, I will bless those who bless others. Um, let's pray and uh, close this out. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you that you are you and that you set the example. That Jesus, you you called, you uh, answered the call of the Father to go and be a blessing to people on earth. And that you've called people like Peter to be a blessing, to teach and to tell us many, many years away, hey, it's not about insults. It's not about putting people down, but it's about loving and blessing the people around you. So God, we answer the call that you've given to us. Um, we pray that we would be um, the people that you can be proud of, that follow after you, and that in any moment, if we fall short or we stray away, we can come right back to you and receive forgiveness. We love you, Lord. Bless the rest of everyone's day. Pray this in your name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us online. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And um, I hope that you really took something from this message and that it impacts you today to be a blessing to the people around you. Well, um, enjoy your week. Uh, I hope you are doing okay and finding ways to stay sane. And uh, we love you um, from Rachel, the family, myself, New Hope Community Church. We love every single one of you. And thank you for checking us out. I'll see you next week. Cheers.